Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. It may seem like I have really been neglecting the Note 3 and the Galaxy S4, and I really have been. The HTC One M8 has been my daily driver as of late, and you know, with an unlocked bootloader, I've really just been running a lot of awesome ROMs on that phone, but I'm going to get back to the Note 3 videos, and I'm gonna start with the Baja ROM. This is by Baja Sir. Now, I've been kind of looking at this ROM for quite a while, and I'm glad that I finally flashed it. Before we really get into this ROM review, you should know that you have to be on the NC2 build that was released by Beanstown. That's the pre-rooted, that's the pre-rooted NC2 build. And I will include a link in the description of how to get to that build. Once you're on that build, then you can flash the build 13 of the Baja ROM. Let's go into settings, about phone. You'll see that we're on KitKat. And the baseband version is NC2. Looks like the build number is a note from Baja Sur to Brask085. Uh, but this is build 13. So basically just a quick rundown of the phone. This is a stock experience. So this has as much of the bloatware removed as possible. While also adding some awesome custom features. Just about any custom feature that you would want in a ROM is presented in this ROM. The Baja ROM includes all kinds of speed tweaks and performance enhancements as well as battery enhancements. It has a hacked launcher, so all the lag has been 100% removed. As you guys can see, there is no lag at all present on this launcher. So another really cool thing that is included here are the S5 applications. So if you go up to the pull up from Fake Jap app, you'll see that all of the S5 applications are included here. We'll take a look at the Baja ROM application. So you can change your clock style, always like mine, centered. Everything you do in here is on the fly. You won't have to reboot the phone to make the change. You can change colors within the app, such as the uh, clock color, the Wi-Fi color can be changed. Signals color can be changed. It looks like just a few of the customizations do require a reboot. But you're able to hide all of the pesky icons that are included in TouchWiz, like the Bluetooth icon, the battery full icon, the vibration icon, the alarm icon, and the smart stay icon. Really TouchWiz is really bad about cluttering your notification panel with all kinds of useless icons. And this is a real easy way to get rid of those. Okay, and then you have traffic information that you can include in your status bar. Okay, if we go to the app section, you can turn on the fast dormancy toggle. This just allows for fast dormancy on your phone. Uh, which can help to improve battery life. You can enable volume skip, so when you're playing uh, music on your phone, you can use the volume buttons to skip tracks. Okay, now we'll check the add-on section of the Baja ROM. Okay, you can add the Google Experience Launcher to your ROM. If you like, I'll probably stick with the Hack TouchWiz Launcher because, like I said, all the lag is removed, and it works incredibly well, so there's really no need for me to go to that Google Experience Launcher. Another really cool feature of the Baja ROM is the Themes feature. There are several themes included here, including the Baja Nostalgia theme, the Baja S5 Edition themes so that'll turn your phone into an S5, and then you can revert back to the stock theme. Then you've got all kinds of battery themes here, so all you have to do is apply the theme. It'll direct you to the page where you can download the theme itself. Okay, and once you've downloaded the theme, you would just simply flash that in SafeStrap on the top of the ROM itself. Same thing with the themes. Okay, and then there are also the Expos Framework mods that are included here. There's the framework installer, per app DPI settings, WANAM exposed is included here. There are all kinds of extra settings that you can play around with in the WANAM exposed and really there's just too much to go over here. But you can change clock size, enable circle battery, which all of these require a reboot. You can change your custom carrier label or hide the carrier label altogether. There's some lock screen settings. Okay, there's an option to enable the flashlight uh, from your lock screen by holding volume up, that's always useful. You can add lock screen shortcuts. You can disable that loud volume warning. That's another pesky thing about TouchWiz. If you ever plug in your headphones and you try to turn up your volume, you have to excuse the loud volume warning before you can do that. Okay, some system settings include enabling the four-way reboot menu. Uh, this way you can reboot directly into SafeStrap without having to reboot the phone and then press the go to recovery button. You can add screenshot, screen record, and you can disable the low battery warning, critical battery level. You can bump that down to nothing. You can choose to add the multi-window apps that way you're not stuck with the stock apps that come with it. Some messaging settings, some more theme settings here, just several to go over more than we have time to go over. Some security hacks. 
Uh, you're able to disable Knox notifications. You can fake your system status. You can enable video hangouts through your cellular. Uh, so that way you're able to do it over 4G if you're not near a Wi-Fi connection. Then there's some advanced settings. Okay, and then there are even more settings to choose from in the framework mods that are included. Uh, you have this S5 system UI, gravity box, and the gel settings. Uh, those are just Google Experience Launcher mods. We're not going to go through all of these because there's just not enough time. But you guys can see that pretty much anything you would want on a ROM is included here in the Baja ROM. Of course, you can get to all of those mods through their application shortcuts on the home screen. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this review. We'll go ahead and install the ROM itself. You will have to be on that NC2 build, and you'll have to have SafeStrap installed. Once those uh, two requirements are met, you'll reboot into SafeStrap. So we will just reboot the phone. And I'll be sure to include a link in the description where you can download this ROM. Okay, so we'll boot into recovery. So to install this ROM, you'll need to be on the stock slot. First, you want to go to wipe and wipe data cache and Dalvik cache. And then you'll go to install. And if you downloaded the file directly to your device, it should be in your download folder under the SD card. You're looking for Baja ROM 14. That's the latest so far. Um, earlier, I did install that blue digital battery, so I'll go ahead and flash that now. But if you're flashing the ROM, you'll want to flash the ROM. Okay, once you've picked the proper file, you'll swipe to flash. And when it's finished, it will say successful. From there, you're going to reboot the system. And you will be presented with the Baja ROM custom boot animation. So guys, as you can see, this is a ROM that is built on performance and the cleanest experience with the most amount of customizations available. This has quickly become one of the most popular ROMs for the Verizon Note 3. has over 425,000 views on XDA. Like I said, you want to make sure to head to the link in the description for the download. That about wraps it up for the Baja ROM review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the near future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com, the latest in Android and tech news. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, I figured I would show you what the battery battery mod looked like once it was installed and you guys can see it there. So basically for those themes and modifications you will just download them, boot into SafeStrap and flash those mods without wiping of course.